Hello friends, welcome to Infigyan. In this very very exciting video of number theory challenge from Olympiads, we are going to solve an interesting Diophantine equation x y z plus x y plus y z plus z x plus x plus y plus z equal to 2012. We have to find out all positive integers x y z satisfying this. So let's get started. I will begin this problem by adding 1 to both sides. So let me write plus 1 here, plus 1 in RHS. So I will write 1 plus x plus y plus z plus xy plus yz plus zx plus xyz equal to 2013. Okay, if I will take, see it is 1 plus x directly visible. If I will take y common from these two, I will get 1 plus x. I will take z common from these two, I will get 1 plus x. And yz from these two, then I will get again 1 plus x. So let me do it. 1 plus x from first two. Now y and x, y, I am going to take y common. So I will be having 1 plus x inside the bracket. Similarly, z common from third and sixth term, I will get 1 plus x again. Okay. Now what is left? y, z and x, y, z. I will take y, z common. Then I will be getting 1 plus x. 2013. Now 1 plus x, 1 plus x, as we can see, it is common in each term. I will take outside. So I will get 1 plus x outside. What is left? 1 plus y plus z plus yz. 2013. Okay, done. Up to this point, it is okay. Now, how I can factorize this one further? I can see if I will take z common from here. Let me do it. So then inside the bracket, it would be 1 plus y. And outside, it is still 1 plus y. So let me take 1 plus y common out. Okay, rest is as it is. Okay, let me take 1 plus y outside. So 1 plus x. 1 plus y, 1 plus z or z equal to 2013. Major task is done now. Now question is how I will find out positive x, y, z. So for that purpose I want to express 2013 in factorization form, in prime factorization. See how I can write 2013 I can write as 3 times 11 times 61 and one point is noticeable 3 is prime number 11 is prime number 61 is also prime number you cannot factorize further so i am going to write here 3 times 11 times 61 now there are three contenders i how i will distribute this number 3 11 and 61 See if it is, let me write in the next slide so that it will be in continuation. So 1 plus x, let me write one more time. 1 plus y, 1 plus z equal to 2013. And that factorization was 3 times 11 times 61. Okay, let us begin with 3. So there are three places. How many options are there? That is the question point. So let's begin with three. I am writing here three. If one plus x is three, then one plus y would be 11 or 16. So let me write this would be 11. This would be 61. Second set, this would be 61 and this would be 11. For three. Okay. Same task I will do with 11. I can write 3 here. 
एंड सिक्सटी वन है सिक्सटी वन है थ्री है दीज आर दॉसिबिलिटी ओनली परमिटेशन कॉम्बिनेशन सिक्सटी वन थ्री फैक्टोरियल इज ऑल्सो द वे ऑफ सॉल्विंग दिस क्वेश्चन दिस काइंड ऑफ क्वेश्चन सिक्सटी वन देन इट वुड बी थ्री एंड इलेवन इलेवन एंड थ्री ओके सो देर आर टोटल सिक्स ट्रिपल्स ओके लेट मी राइट नाउ हेयर आई विल पुट कॉलम एक्स वाई एंड जेड एक्चुअली वी हैव टू फाइंड आउट एक्स वाई जेड वैल्यू सो आई विल राइट एक्स वाई जेड okay once 1 plus x is 3 then x will be 2 clear if first value is 3 let me write you can see here it is 1 plus x 3 then x must be 2 1 plus y 61 this value or 11 1 plus y is 11 then y must be 10 okay z would be 60 Second set three sixty one eleven. Just decrease the number by one. Two sixty ten. Now come to eleven. So I will begin with ten and ten because one plus x is eleven. The next would be ten. Okay, three one number less than three one uh, three that is two sixty sixty two for set of sixty one. I will consider here sixty. Two sets I will get two and ten. Sixty, ten and two. So these are six triples possible for which this equation will give us solution integer positive integer. So let me write the triples x, y, z. It would be two, ten, sixty. Two sixty ten. Then third value would be ten two sixty. Ten sixty two. Sixty two ten. And last value is sixty ten two. This is how we will find out. i hope you understood something from this video this question is from 2013 I, again it is smo question and question is based on only algebraic identity you should be familiar with the identities which are used in algebra so that is only one thing on that they frame one good question on number system i hope you like this video thank you so much for watching do not forget to like share and subscribe bye bye till next video